do you have any time frame that you think you can finish this project? Um, there isn't a time frame on it or a deadline because it's it's very much ongoing. Um, it's kind of what I do on Twitch now as a streamer. So um, once this project ends, so does my streaming career in a way because it's what I do. Unless there's a sequel. You know what I mean? If there's a sequel then we can carry on so i kind of see it as a never-ending game at the moment like a game that's not going to end because we're going to just continuously add episodes in, for the whole time i'm enjoying doing this basically and the com in the whole time the community's enjoying it if we're enjoying it and having fun we'll continue to make it um but obviously it will have to come to an end at some point and um whenever the time's right when we feel we've got to a, a good point in the story everybody's super strong and we can fight the final boss then i suppose the game can come to an end and if we really had a good time we can always do a sequel but there's no like definite decision on anything like that yet because it's still very early days but it's just an idea um because i wouldn't like to stop streaming when the game ends do you know what i mean that would be sad because it's a lot of fun how about never? <laughs> never ending. So that, that's what I thought binary when I said it. I was like, never ending game. So yeah, it's there's no simply no deadline or endpoint because I kind of don't want there to be an endpoint in a way. Because then it's like, well, this is what I'm, I do on Twitch. It's like everything I do here now. Um, and one person can make an RPG game, no doubt. Yeah, and this is another reason why I, I think this project works so good as as an episodic project and game because okay is my webcam okay now I'm not sure to be honest we'll just forget it we'll just just have it like this today even if it's not perfect because as you can see my top's going a bit weird and bits my hair but you, you guys don't mind do you just for today I'll fix it when I get more time because I really want to get into this dialogue now um, where are you guys? I'm back to you. I was just trying to fix my cam because um, we had spam bots coming earlier straight away. I had about a bazillion follows in a second. I'm exaggerating a bit but, <laughs> but we did get spam botted and I, it completely crashed my stream basically and my cam was froze. So I had to reset my cam and it messed up all the colours again. And just, just as I, I got it all perfect after the Windows update as well. And, um, juice, how are you doing today? But yeah, as I was saying, no deadline, no end point to the project because it's an ongoing thing. Um, and that's why it works so great It's an episodic game because imagine if it wasn't and we, we were going to wait for a full game. You could potentially be waiting forever. And people who aren't that patient, people are going to want to play this game. So episode one, you know, it's very realistic it's going to be out by the spring next year um you know if we want at least a few hours content you know it will be out by then i'm sure unless we come across some bugs or issues then it'll probably have to be extended a little but i'm kind of looking at that kind of goal for episode one at the moment um and uh yeah people will have something to play and uh, then we can work on episode two together um, when episode one comes out and it's it keeps things um exciting um, about a year ago i undertook the task of redesigning the dnd 5e system for a more modern role play it took me about the better part of a year working on it continuously yeah did you have fun that sounds super fun it's fun to get really involved in a project and and work on it because it's so easy to like it, not do something and then dwell on on things and i don't like doing that i like to to focus on something fun and productive everything is falling into place and it doing good i'm glad juice i was looking into humble and there is a humble full with books about game dev i bought it but i forgot that you were partner with humble oh don't worry juice it's easily forgotten um it happens but just so you know in the future everybody i am um, a humble partner so if there's ever anything that you want to get on humble i would be super appreciative if you did use my link but if you forget it's not the end of the world but it's it's nice if, if you do use it it's very thoughtful if you do if you do think about my link and use it 
I did not in most seat was very stressful unfortunately and wasn't really able to much use out of it oh no I'm sorry it was stressful yeah it's no good doing something if it's gonna be stressful um, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something you've got to love it like I have a lot of enjoyment out of this um, I do this every time I stream I don't do anything I exclusively do this on Twitch I don't play video games or stream video games I used to used to play a lot of RPG games on stream but I exclusively do this now so let's hope it doesn't end because this is my this is what I do as a streamer <laughs> but yeah we don't know how many episodes we're gonna have either um yet I mean we could have three we could have five we could have ten somewhere in between we don't just don't know at this point we're gonna just do it as we go along and see what happens true boldy thank you for gifting a sub to Vikran. 22 subs in the channel holy crap i don't even know what to say you, you you've been so nice to me and and to rex as well and you are a lovely human and um any streamer would be very lucky to have you in their community dude <laughs> can we have some hype for true baldy guys everything i love causes me some stress and worry i found the things that are worth doing and feel the soul normally cause some discomfort and that's a true point as well binary nothing that's worth doing is easy as they say and um i i know for sure we're going to come across challenges in this project i'm going to come across challenges but that doesn't mean it's not going to be worth doing um, but it's it's gone very smoothly so far, I have to say. As a, for a community project, I know it got brought up yesterday that some community projects can get a bit out of hand if not managed in like in a good way. But I'm I'm trying to like really be organised about this, and so far it's working. It's and people are enjoying it, and and that's what matters. It's not something I planned to give a lot of commitment to, so part way I dropped it because I wasn't able to give the time it needed, yeah. And I think that's another thing as well, like having the time, because at the moment this is really, um, while I'm living at home and I don't have pressure to pay bills, I'm able to be okay living off the money I'm earning on Twitch and just put my everything into this project at this point in my life. But I know in the future that will have to change, obviously, because I can't, I will not be able to live like this forever. But while while I'm here, I might as well make the most of it. And if like my life did change and I had to work full time while doing Twitch, I'm not going to give this up. The hours might need to change a bit and maybe we'd have to do a day less in the week or something, but it wouldn't be given up at all it would just the hours would just change because i just enjoy it too much even if i had a job and i was really tired and from the job i'd still want to do this because i remember the last time i had a job um i was i found that it made me more desperate to be creative i was like i want to go home and work on creative things so yeah it made me more excited to get home and do projects and stuff my goodness, let's catch up with chat because I am so behind. You've given like $200 now. Thank you very much right back at you. I would literally hug you pretty hard if I met you. Yeah, True Baldy deserves all the hugs. But Sean, thank you for the hype for True Baldy, guys. Such an awesome human. I appreciate you. True Baldy, you've done a lot for me. With, with all the help, all the generosity. And I won't forget it. Hi, Storm Eagle. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Rose keeps us in line. When did it start? I'm asking both for the project and when you wanted to make stories. Um, I came up with the idea for this project last year. Um, very much towards the end of last year, like just before Christmas. Um, I just like decided I wanted to make an RPG maker game and on Twitch, but we didn't officially start streaming this until the spring about may time this year so we've been doing it for about is that quite six months yet or not i did have like a little bit of a hiatus in the summer because i went away on halls and um i start i came back to doing this 
um, three days a week at first in September and now I've switched to four days a week and it's uh, October now. So we're going to carry on with this schedule for forever. Well, <laughs> until I, if I, if it gets to the point where I have to get a job, then the schedule will probably um, change a little bit slightly then. But until that time comes, I will be, I will be streaming four days a week like this on this project. And I'm sure we'll get a lot done in that time. I'm always happy to support people who deserve it. Yay! Okay, guys, so let's look at what we can do with this dialogue then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste elite suggestions and put them in notepad so I don't have to keep switching screen. Always had this itch to tell some of the stories I've had in my head, but unfortunately not come across the opportunity to. I think about writing poetry, art, even hosting DMB. Yeah, there's many ways to tell a story. And I, as for the question of when did I want to start making stories, since I was like about five years old, in all honesty, I've, I used to just write absolute crap when I was really young as a kid. And uh, I started using RPG Maker when I was about 12. I think RPG Maker 2000 was the first one I used. And I attempted to write stories in that then. Um, I've tried to write novels, but never have ever finished any of them because they're, they're like pretty big commitment at the time because I was at university in college and I couldn't put my all into writing a novel while I was studying so I didn't finish that but I always have um, this like these ideas and all these things all these stories I want to tell but I feel like um yeah, a game especially is the perfect medium for telling the story um so yeah this this is working quite well and we don't even have a story do we really but I might have things in mind for where this could go even though we are improvising it so who knows? But de decompound sounds like a great way to tell a story as well. I think so, for sure. You should go for it, Fitcrin. We will do our bit to keep you streaming. God, oh, that's real. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I would play D&D. Uh, &D. <laughs> Typos. Heck yes. As much as I... I'm, do I'm playing D&D &D at the moment. I'm currently in a campaign. Been in a campaign for about... About nine months now, I think. Um, we do it every two weeks. So that's a lot of fun. I'm a bard. I'm a tiefling bard. As much as I love to say I have time to squeeze around the story, I don't think I do, but I'm always thinking about it and looking for a chance to do so. Yeah, and it's a hard world. I mean, the way the world is, we bear, we don't... We don't, we're lucky if we get time to do our creative things because obviously if we work it's hard to get time if you've got a family it's hard as well um luckily i don't have kids or anything like that so i don't have to give my time to anything like that but uh yeah it's um yeah i think i'll always want to be creative until i'm an old lady if i'm quite honest so let's hope i always get the chance to be creative <laughs> i never want to have to sacrifice that for something Writing well is just putting the pen to paper and doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Yeah, and that's exactly. Just even if it sounds really bad the first draft. I, at first, when I started doing this, writing the dialogue, I, I was like a little bit embarrassed that it would be really bad, the first bits that I wrote. But, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's bad, does it? Like you say, Elite. You can write a page from time to time and then let them flow together some days. Yeah. Yeah, even if you only get like 30 minutes a night or something, even that can help. I mean, when I worked, I had to be up at 6am and I didn't get home till 6pm. Um, but even then I couldn't get on, onto my computer until about 9 at night. And obviously I had to be in bed early if I had to be up at 6am. So I only really got an hour to do my own thing. But I still tried to. I thought even if I only get an hour, I'll try and do something creative or something. My voice is going again. <laughs> it was going a bit yesterday. Gonna go now. Have a great stream. Take care. Come in. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope you like your bad emotes. I appreciate you coming in. Um, 
I wish I could think of a good story. I just know the technical bits of game engineering. Yeah, and I mean, we've all got our strengths, haven't we? I mean, some people that are good at the writing bit lack at the technical side or the artistic side. But as for telling a story, I think we all have it in us to tell a story. Just, you know, I, I do believe we have. It's just sometimes getting the confidence to get it written down and to go for it. I'm no stranger to being new to things for the, the for the last of year or so and I took a lot of different hobbies that I never thought of doing beforehand so I learned a lot in terms of how to improve in a particular skill or hobby. Awesome. Yeah. It's good to try new things too. Like it's daunting. I mean even a game project, there's so many different things involved in making a game, so you have to like be prepared to tackle them all. Hi Living on Edge, how are you doing? It's good to see you living on edge. If you care about something, you'll make it work. Yeah. True. Yeah, you just need determination and passion. Even if you can't do it or you it's not easy for you, if the passion's there, that can push you to learn and make it work for sure. Yeah, you're a downpour. Congrats. Oh, I've had 150 raindrops already. Good job, True Baldy. We're proud of you. If that were it, so I could write stories. My mind only thinks of interesting ways to implement the mechanics for the game. Well, that's awesome, too. I mean, uh, that's something I love to be good at as well, um, thinking of mechanics. And sometimes I can think of them and I have this vision in my head, but it's actually implementing them that's the tricky bit for me because I'm not a naturally technical person in that way. Like, I'm not a coder or... But, you know, I'll be, this is why RPG Maker's great, because you don't necessarily have to be one. There's so, much, there's so many plugins and things available online. So you can kind of try and... Your vision that you imagine you can see what's out there and just find stuff and make it work that way. But I wish it would be great to be able to code absolutely anything and make your vision come to life super easily. I'd love to do that, but it would take a lot of extra studying because I don't have a coding background. You can turn that around and use cool implementation and bought build a store around here. Yeah, that's true, true, Baldy. Just woke up, so no complaints yet. Hope the stream has gone well today. Thank you, Living on Edge. We had a little bit of an issue when I first went live. Got a load of spam bots following me and crashed my computer. I was a bit worried that they would never stop, but they stopped eventually so <laughs> and luckily they the fact those fake bots haven't been added to my follow account so i'm happy stuff people design a story around the mechanics i present to them coding like anything else just takes time yeah it takes a brain as well though as well you have to be clever to code just don't people design stuff yeah Coding takes a lot of time, unfortunately. Okay, so shall we get started then? I'll still talk to you guys, of course, while I'm, I'm entering this dialogue. Um, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. I scared off that person that followed me earlier, because <laughs> somebody followed me, and I was like, you better not be a bot. And I screamed at them, and they're probably like, wow, what a rude streamer. <laughs> I can't complain, it's my everyday job, yeah. <laughs> okay, so right, so if you if you're in the Discord you can easily get access to this file because I've uploaded it in the dialogue suggestions channel. So if you want to have a peek you can, but we are gonna update it a bit. I always write the dialogue in here now first and then I put it in RPG Maker after. I think it's a lot easier to know what you're gonna say what you want to want the text to be before you actually put it in this the uh, engine so um it's current the current one is please ignore that creature in the cage it belongs to me and that's the option for if you didn't put her in the lake um but lead suggestion is watch out that creature in the cage is dangerous and i prefer a lead suggestion to mine simply because it's got more how would I explain it? There's more like, not fear, I don't think fear is the right word, but it's less calm. Because I think it's a bit calm at the moment. You'd be more panicky, wouldn't you? If, if 
some random guy was gonna go and touch like they just walked into your cabin and they've seen your secret and they're gonna you know, do something you don't want them to do you'd, you'd be more panicky you wouldn't just be like please ignore that creature from the cat you'd like be no watch out like so i definitely prefer your suggestion for that reason Rose got the line with them. Yeah. Gonna take Doggo for a work before it starts raining again. Bet back in a bit. Oh, that binary is Doggo. Super cute. Enjoy the walk, binary. And thanks for the lurk. It's generally the bugs that get you. My arch enemies, the C bug, where the memory fragmentation happens without any apparent reason. Yeah, bugs. And that's what gets me as well. But when you do them, when you fix them, it's like, oh my goodness. And it just makes you so excited but yeah when you can't fix them it's so frustrating i've got a couple of bugs currently actually in my this rpg maker project so we're gonna have a little look at them later actually because i want to show you guys what the bugs are um maybe someone here who has a very technical mind can help me solve the problem but uh for now let's do this because we're going to do a test play later to test the dialogue so you'll see what the bugs are anyway there's no fix to it you have to implant your entire memory management yeah <laughs> it's hard i have no idea about create games but it looks like i looks like i stuck here good stream oh thank you so much that's so kind cerberus welcome good to meet you i hope you're having a good day and um creating games can be a bit of an overwhelming thought seems a bit daunting but it, it's not too bad i mean rpg maker it's quite a friendly piece of software to be quite honest so if anybody's at all curious that is the link to look at boop just got here hope things are going well what's a technical mind about yeah just talking about bugs on the subject of bugs and um i've actually gone on the rpg maker support forum but no one answered my question and that's quite unusual because usually they're quite they're very helpful on there so maybe it's just one of them things that can't be solved i don't know but um we'll have a look at it later anyway they're, they're not like massive things but they're definitely things that i think i want to sort out because if they don't i might have to get rid of a plugging we'll see though okay so let's change his text a bit um so the it belongs to me bit isn't in elite's um edit but he adds it later here which i think is really good because we need the it belongs to me bit because we need it for the reason of where's our arrow it leads to here when the hero can p potentially say people shouldn't belong to others and gets plus one compassion if uh, he, you say that so we, we definitely need that dialogue so pu putting it there is a great idea um Watch out, that creature in the cage is dangerous. Yes, and the next one is if you did push her in the lake, which is the mean, the asshole branch of the of it of the quest so we we decided we wanted to add a bit of humor and throw a fish at the hero um but elite suggestion has it so she says jerk how dare you and then the animation happens and i think that's cool because it, the animation won't come too much without warning that way and it'll give a bit of context to why she's throwing the fish at the hero if we do it that way so for that reason i'm gonna go with elite edit when it comes to me ch changing it to what the community suggests i'll always give a reason for why i'm changing it and why i liked their suggestion because um sometimes i might not necessarily go with every single suggestion that you guys give the dialogue only if it fits so i want to make sure that give a good reason okay let's catch up with um what you guys are saying idea for a story but no idea on how to write it the general idea that i want to explore with it is my theory of a mortal man 
that's cool um, so you'd go with the concept of immortality would that be the theme that your story would be based around have I got that right worst case link it in discord and I can give a vague attempt at looking at it I'm both very good at debugging and terrible at debugging so I'm obviously pretty reliable thank you battle sandwich that's very very considerate of you to do that um, so what I'm going to do anyway once we've got this dialogue done I'm going to put the dialogue into di in RPG Maker. We're going to rock, we're going to add it to the event scene, and then we'll do a test play, see how it all works, the, and do all the little bit extras to the cutscene as well, like animations maybe. Have we got bots again, or are these real people? Please be real. <laughs> Welcome. And um, as I was saying, once we've done that dialogue we will do a test play and i will show you guys the bugs then and if like and be, if none of you know i'll probably put it in discord after to see if anybody else knows or in case people weren't around when i did the test play create normal members is an oxymoron itself been reading the book 1984 by george orwell and heavy when it was inspired by you know what i have that book it's up there somewhere i haven't read it yet though but um, a friend um, got it for me a couple of years ago and said I would really like that book. So um, I know I know the basics of what it's about, um, but I really do need to read it. I love that there's an asshole branch, yeah. But it's like, we've got like the compassion and the bravery and the brains thing, pardon me, well wisdom. And uh, I guess the one with the minus in compassion, like the opposite of the compassionate, would be the asshole one. And the one at the opposite of bravery would be the cowardly um, branch path. And then the one at the opposite of wisdom would be somebody who's just absolutely clueless about the world. So there's so many, like, just from those three things alone, compassion, bravery and wisdom, we can create lots of different hero types you know from all those traits and it's pretty cool I'll, I'll be excited to see how you guys choose your hero what direction you're going to send your hero in in terms of morality um and i'm, I'm excited to see what you're going to make the custom hero look like as well and what name you're going to give your custom hero i want to see screenshots when episode one comes out for sure guys quick question what program what program are you writing your dialogue in? This is called Draw.io Minion and welcome to the stream, it's good to meet you. I apologise for being super behind on chat by the way. Um, still getting used to having a, be a much busier chat lately in streams, it's a new thing for me. I've always had a very awesome community and I've always been lucky to have quite lively streams um, and I'm very grateful for that but my goodness, over the past month it's just got crazy compared to what I'm used to. So you guys will have to bear with me sometimes. But this is it, draw.io. So if, you, if you're if you intrigued about this software, this is the one I'm using. And it's really good for doing dialogue with branching paths, I find. I mean, it, I'm sure draw.io can be used for just about anything that needs flowcharts. But I figured it would be great for dialogue. Hi Val, how's it going? Hope you're well Val, it's lovely to see you. Like the fish idea, yay! I forgot who it was now that suggested the throwing the fish, but I really thought that's really cool and I thought as long as it's possible that we can make that animation happen in RPG Make, then we're definitely going to go for it. But Minion and Sammy, thank you so much for the follows. I, I did wonder if you were bots at first because we have we've had a lot of bot follows today. But it's all amazing if you're real. I'm very happy if you're real. Um, interesting. Could be a good novel game. Yeah, you should go with that sort of um, concept for sure. Um, one of my favourite games, it's not actually a JRPG, it's called Lost Odyssey. And that is that is about the theme of being an immortal. And I really think that's a really good one for me. It made me question immortality a lot. Um, I'm doing good, how are you all doing? Hope you get feeling better soon, Val. Oh no, you're tired. Yeah, get that coffee down, you for sure. It's an incredible book, the only book that has really managed to spook me, despite that isn't a horror novel. No, I, I need to read it because I've heard 1984 is a really, you know, 
it'll make you think and about society and things like that and change your change your views of life but to be honest i'm pretty much that way of thinking anyway when it comes to uh politics so i think that book's definitely my cup of tea for sure my friend knew that i'd like it so they got it for me sorry that we write so much oh no never be sorry i i absolutely adore having a busy chat it's just going to take time for me to get to be able to multitask that and being a pro at game dev thank you clint eastwood for the follow that's an interesting name clint eastwood i flowchart test adventures in it that was me, I said as a joke initially. I want to see what you've done then in Draw IO as real. I want to see how you guys do your flow charts. Am I doing a good job with the flow charts, guys? And Mel, thank you for the follow. I'm not sure if I saw that or not, or if I thanked you for the follow, but I appreciate it. And I'm glad you're doing good, Minion. Um... Oh, one of my other favourite Steamy Pips is playing that right now. He reads out all the stories. It's pretty nifty. What? Someone you know is playing Lost Odyssey. Am I hearing correctly? You mean Lost Odyssey? Oh my god. If so, I'm going to scream because that is my favourite game of all time and I want to know who's streaming it. <laughs> and the stories that are in it are like one of the things I liked most about that game. How long have you been a game creator? I'd say I've been a, an aspiring game creator slash amateur game creator pretty much since I was about 12. But I've never ever released a product because, you know, time, life, things. So I've always had the urge to make a game and now I'm finally in a position where I'm able to. So I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. And um, because we're doing it episodically, that means I will officially have something released when episode one comes out. And I'll be very proud of myself. And hi, Joda, how are you doing? Good afternoon to you too. It's good to meet you. Hope you're doing well. Lots of Odyssey is awesome. Yeah. Kind of so what set the game apart to a class of its own. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying the game itself wasn't good, but those stories took it to a whole new level. Um, the game itself was brilliant as well, though, and I really liked the character uh, Jensen because he was really funny <laughs> made me laugh good yet is a good free flow charting tool doesn't require you to be online oh cool so that's actually a program um yeah I guess it's what you prefer I don't actually mind being online and doing it um, sometimes I actually prefer that than having loads of programs open but it's what everybody's different I guess um, but I'll, I'll definitely have a look at that out of simple curiosity. Um, what will the game title be? Raindrop Chronicles is the name of the game, guys. I don't say that in the stream title simply because there's not much room. I've used up all the characters. And I like to put information in the stream title that will like draw people in. And Raindrop Chronicles would be pretty meaningless to new people. So... I like to say we're, we're a gen, more generic thing, like we're making a game together as a community. Um, but if you like, look at the the link here that just that the bots just put up, linktree.round.chronicles. That'll be where you get to see the stuff about the game, and we do have a Twitter for it as well, and my Twitter too. And we're going to make a website soon as well. So once that's done, you'll be I'll send you guys straight to the website, and that'll be even better than what we currently have, which is just a bunch of Google Docs at the mall. Well, not a bunch, just about two, but it just all keep things tidier. Holly is the satisfactory. He plays it once a week or so, break from normal streams. Oh, cool, I'll look into that then, Battle Sandwich. It's fantastic to hear that someone's actually playing that game, because it's so underrated. Seems like hardly anyone has heard of it. So it was only on Xbox. Jensen was the best. If you put the treasure glasses on him, he looks like Jeff Goldblum. He was just, I just absolutely loved his character. It's just probably one of my favourite video game characters. I mean, he's very 
I don't know why I even like him, but I wasn't even sure at first when he first was in the game. I was like, this guy's really an asshole. He's really annoying. But like, he grew on me so fast. <laughs> it was crazy. You know, I think I'll start writing now. I've already made the Google document. Yeah, yeah, you should for sure, Vikram. Um, and I want to see if you ever do get anything written and you want to share it with us, we've got the Creative Work channel in our Discord. And you're welcome to share anything you do in there. What tools are you used to develop RPG? Uh, right, what is it? Program, exclamation mark, program. And welcome, Cookie Kiki. <laughs> welcome to the stream. So if you click that link, you'll find out exactly about what the program is I'm using, more info about it, where you can get it, what the features are. That'll tell you absolutely everything, guys. Jensen's conscious and change of heart is what makes him lovable. If he was just some irredeemable jerk, it would be hard to like him. Yeah, exactly. It's He's like... He's a flawed character in a way, I guess. Everyone is flawed. But he like really... You know, he's got a heart of gold deep down and he's very charming and he's a big buffoon and it's, it's those are very likeable qualities and his sense of humour is just amazing. I mostly do art at the moment, pencil sketches and the bunch. Yeah, and if you want to post your art as well, you totally can because the creative work channels for anything, art, writing, uh, anything at all that's creative, I guess. Okay, so let's get the rest of the dialogue in. So, oh yeah, we have dot 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 at the moment as the default dialogue, but I think having... It just brings more... It just shows more anger, I suppose. Because you would be. If someone threw you in the lake, you would be screaming at them, wouldn't you? So... Jerk how dare you? Rose fish at here, right? I'll um I'll keep that as the description of the action, just so we remember. And yeah, we, the it belongs to me. We put which moving over here in this box, aren't we? Um, like. I really just see whenever a lead to Jess suggests dialogue, I automatically have liked it, all of it so far. I think there was only a couple of things I slightly changed in the last branch we did before this conversation, but I was like, yeah, this will totally work and sounds better. You must like be a pro writer, elite or something, because it just like is great. <laughs> I mostly, yeah. Can you post it with some other made up insult or slur later for immersion and self reference? Yeah. And like we talked about um, a couple of streams ago, at some point last week, we talked about um, fictional curse words. Guys, we're going to have fictional curse words in this game because somebody asked um, if, this, if this game is going to be PG or adult. And it is going to be a PG-13 game. We're not going to have, like, real swear words in it or anything. And any, like, lewd content is going to be very mild. And there's going to be nothing inappropriate for teenagers or, you know, anything like that. It's definitely going to be PG-13. Um, so fictional swear words are perfect. They're super creative and funny and add a lot of personality. It's an opportunity to... Um, you know, for law and to just make the place feel more alive and stuff. So, yeah, a replacement for jerk would be really cool as long as it made sense and was and people weren't like, what's that mean? Um, you know what I mean? It has to sound like it'd be a curse word, <laughs> and it it could like be a consistent word that's used as an insult throughout the game by certain people. <laughs> Players go to the brothel to play Snap PG-13 adult patch later. Yeah, um, for sure. <laughs> We're not going to have nude pixel characters in the game in our brothel, for sure. Like, at most, they'll be wearing bikinis when in the brothel. <laughs> have a lot of experience writing and editing both. Worked in news 
rooms for a couple of years so I got good at editing ma massive blocks of text into actual stories real quick. Yeah, you can really tell. You do have a knack for it for sure. Okay, so what are you doing in here? Stay away from that cage. I'll try out the creature now. Okay, I've got that right, haven't I? If there's something that you see that I'm putting wrong or some sort of typo, then definitely feel free to say. Okay, so this bit, um, yeah, you got it. That's a hissing sound that I'm trying to get across because if you don't know, guys, um, my character Rose, who is the woman in the cage, she doesn't speak nor in normal language she she's kind of very feral and she's like an animal in her speech there's a lot of hissing and um so that's that's uh i'm trying to get across that she's angry because rose is angry at the moment being caged up so yeah i feel like that's a good hissing sound so you think we should play a hissing sound effect? We'll have to look for hissing sound effects online then, but we'll ha we'll have to pick a good one, one that doesn't sound like too over the top or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean the community. If you guys wanna um, suggest hissing sounds, if you find any free um, free sounds online that are hissing, female hissing. And feel free to share them with us but if not i will be definitely looking myself at some point i'm gonna drive home from work later take care true baldy thank you so much for gifting those subs again and for being awesome have a safe journey home um looking for a bit got a meeting back soon take care Azriel. hope the meeting goes well literally just record like 80 horror voice noises and send them to you yeah it's gonna sound like like a, a lady though <laughs> i mean i do it but honestly i don't think i've got any talent in sound design it's one of my weaknesses so <laughs> it would sound very amateur if i did it don't suggest like a snake hissing sound yeah <laughs> it as long as it's like it's subtle and like not like whoa you know what i mean so i think it would be it wouldn't be immersive if it was too over the top it's got to kind of work well with the scene and like a very really subtle hissing sound i guess <laughs> amusingly there's a one in 384 chance it'd turn out pretty well yeah well definitely guys if you find any female hissing sounds or if, you know share them put them in the discord and i'll listen to them and we'll pick the best one <laughs> if you want to that is i mean i'm sure there's plenty available online um that are free there's a lot of good free sound effects out there okay so um uh how do i sh show that there's a sound playing i can't remember if there was a way i wrote that angry face in oh yes so i do use those sort of brackets square brackets oh no gonna look a bit oh thank you for the look val appreciate you never met a vampire before <laughs> Well, she's she's a very unique vampire. She's lovely, even though know, people think she's a monster. How dare they want to sacrifice me? Okay, um, it, right. This it belongs to me. I called it Rose after a thorned flower I picked, and instantly, I love the thorned flower suggestion. Why is it come? Why is it saying that thorned isn't a word? Is thorned a word? I totally thought it was. What's going on? It is, isn't it? Right. Um, it belongs to me. Uh, I called it Rose after a thought. Yeah, and this that helps you shorten it a little bit. It has to be what? How about Thorny? Yeah, I'm, I honestly 
thought thorn does a word it seems thorny is i mean you can you guys if you want to check google and see if thorn is a word you can and if it is i'll put it back but you know that's weird <laughs> totally thought it was okay um but thorny works too either of them could nobody's gonna notice it <laughs> technically not be Thorny doesn't sound super right to me though. It is a kid, so it might be fine. Yeah, she is, um, because she's a kid, it doesn't, you know, I mean, you're right. She doesn't have to be perfect with her vocabulary, I guess. Thorn isn't technically a word it appears, but some accept it as one. Right meaning good, but kid, ma kid makes up for that, so ignore me. Okay, so should we keep it like that, guys? Thorny flower. What do you reckon? Thorned or thorny? What should we go for? You like thorned? Do you battle sandwich? If if Google says it's a word, then we'll go for it. Seems good. Hey, it hasn't got the line under there anymore. <laughs> what is even going on? Okay, so... This bit was fine. You you thought that all the bravery and the bravery choice, the compassion and wisdom choice were all good. Do you feel any of these could give minuses in any of in, in of those three? Or do you feel that those are the perfect um the perfect choices for those dialogue? Root equals thought horned versus horny. Either works, to be honest. Kid explanation makes very fine to me. Okay. We'll keep it as thorn then for now. If we want to change it in the future, we always could. Um, but we'll keep it like this for now. But yeah, um, I feel like those three dialogue choices are, are ideal for those particular morality thingy bajigs or traits or whatever we should call them what's the what's the ideal word to to sum those things those things up i think we said traits didn't we confining her isn't going to wait confinement isn't going to end well seems brave and the brave one seems wise practical to me at least do know seem right let's read them again and I'll, I'll explain why i chose them as these and see what you guys think so let me put it out of its misery you'll be safe for that way um i think because they've offered to kill the vampire with that choice it feels like the brave option because they're protecting them and saying the set about the safety so it felt brave whereas this one confining her isn't going to end well for you let free that's more of like trying to be smart about what confining you know confinement isn't a smart thing to do sort of thing so those are the reasons why i felt that they i picked those ones for that oh or is confine her not a threat but an observation like she's dangerous yeah it's like saying if you're going to confine her you do know that you this is really not smart because she's going to just rip your head off eventually just basically it's just an observation that's true read the wisdom one as a threat like let her go or i'll kill her yeah it's that that one there is the i'll kill her one you'll be safe if i kill her for you so i'll put it out of its misery and that one's like no you, sh you should just let her free and letting her free doesn't necessarily mean the hero is going to kill her the hero in that option is just saying let her out just let her free she could just let her go alive that could be what he means there but he's definitely like said i'll kill her in that one <laughs> i'll kill you rather yeah me oh no fits very well thank you cornelius how are you doing cornelius you can't look something away forever eventually someone will go wrong yeah it's that's true it's what it's like it's why i'm glad that you think that that's wise because it took some thinking because at first i was like 
I want I want to have um, a plus one to each of our three traits. I knew that I wanted that in this conversation, and I was just thinking what could what could be appropriate to say for each of them. And those were the three I came up with. And I'm pretty happy with them for sure. Okay, so now there's a few edits to this one. And I think you says that I think you said the rest of it was fine, didn't you? So just a couple of things here we're gonna change. Do you know why I put her there? Not that it matters, but still, yeah. I mean I know that she's referred to as an it, but I think that's mainly by the people of Lakefall because they don't see her as a human being. But I suppose, like, as the story goes on, she probably will be referred as a her. Um, I mean, the hero himself calls her a she because he he sees her as a human. But, yeah, Lakefall, they're very, I guess they're very narrow-minded folk. They're very fearful because if you were here yesterday, we talked about the massacre that happened in Lakefall, the reptiles caused the massacre. So they're very fearful people, very narrow-minded they're all humans there's no other ra races in this village so you know they live a very it's like they live in a bubble and uh anybody who isn't like that would not just judge this vampire as somebody that deserves to die i believe rose where do you find the music for this stream i love the music thank you vikra and this a uh, playlist is actually um fi a final fantasy 14 playlist so uh there's there's a bunch of tracks that I put in iTunes from all the Final Fantasy soundtracks of all the expansions. So yeah, that's what it is. Final Fantasy XIV. It's got a great soundtrack. No, I meant put her instead of you. Like, I don't want her brain skip further. No worries. I was just rambling on about her being in it and just just got excited talking about like for. So I, I like having like a story behind the village i want all the areas in the game all the villages and and dungeons and places to have like a bit of lore behind them rather than them being just empty places with just names this isn't going to end well for you cracks knuckles you thought yeah okay so let's see what you said Keeping it here may be a danger to Lakefall. Could you take it to the heart of the Everbloom Forest and feed it to the monster living there? I will reward you greatly. And then the other one is, I didn't ask you, but since you owe me a favour for pushing me in the lake, I'm going to burp again. Take Rose to the heart of the Everbloom Forest and feed it to the monster living there unless you want the innkeeper running you out of town <laughs> yeah um so that yeah it just uh probably makes the dialogue sound a bit more natural i guess those choices and um she's a bit more sassy in this option for what you've put elite which is which is what we want because we pushed in the likes so she's gonna have a bit of sass towards us She's really annoyed at us, but she's she's definitely more polite in the top box if you didn't push her in the like. So um yeah. You will be I think you says you will be rewarded greatly, didn't you? I, I assume that that's the correct grammar. This it definitely sounds better like that for sure, like it's meant to be that. Um Keeping it here might be a danger to like fall. Yeah, and it is also true that we need to make sure that the dialogue in these boxes goes with all these options as well. Because the current one, you're probably right, this creature is a danger to the, the villagers of like fall. Might not go with that box, I suppose. I don't know. But I feel like it doesn't it doesn't sound too weird. But it, de it definitely goes more with those two. You also, as the player, don't know she's the innkeeper yet. So it's left to the player's imagination what will happen. 
Oh, do do we not? I thought that it was made clear that she's the innkeeper in the in the dialogue by the lake because she says, "I I'm the innkeeper. My brother isn't." Remember that bit? Have I misunderstood something? If you push in the lake, you don't. Oh yes, that's true. If you got so if you got to know her better and talk to her in the the first box, yeah, you know. But oh yeah, that's really clever actually. I completely didn't realise that. It's true. So yeah, you, you might think, hang on, who's the innkeeper? You mean Nigel Buckington? Because that's what you would think if you pushed in it. Like, you'd actually still think Nigel is the innkeeper. So um, yeah, that, that's that's quite clever. I like that idea, Relate. Really. Okay, so, hmm, keeping it here might be a danger to late. And one thing we will do, like, because these are quite big blocks of text when we put them into our pg maker we'll split them up and put them with different face expressions just to break up the dialogue a bit like um like this the first few lines might have a certain face and then that they'll have a certain face and then that will be on a, in a third box with a different face maybe and it'll all match whatever face expression we choose or match with what that dialogue is just break things up a bit because if we all just put it in in a big box and you know can get a bit monotonous and boring then i want to i think the facial expressions are an awesome idea for sure it's just a bit of personality in life okay so let's get it in keeping it here maybe a danger to like for Yeah, you remove the villages, which is it makes it makes it a bit more shorter, but also makes sense because it's not necessarily just a danger to the villagers; it's a danger to the actual place. Um, could you take it to the heart of the Everbloom Forest and feed it to the monster living there, or would you, would you take it to the heart? Yeah, and that's, I like that suggestion too, because it's more descriptive of the area, because I remember you asking in the last stream um, what the area was like. He says, what's it look like? And it's it's called the Ancient Eye of a Look, and it's this, uh, it's this like sort of little place. And it does, I suppose, a heart is a good way to, to describe it. <laughs> The Everbloom Forest and sacrifice it to the monster living there and feed it to the monster living there, yeah. A little bit more simple than sacrifice and probably um for because she's a little girl. Simple's better. Hi Andy Cake, how's it going? It's lovely to see you, Andy. I hope you're having an awesome day. Yeah, I was trying to figure out directions relative to the current place. Figured that that's how the locals would maybe describe it, yeah. And that, that's a good way to describe it in the future too, like if we get some quests and if some like fall villagers give side quests later and we need to go back there and do something, it's a good it's a good way to describe it as well. Um, okay, and there was a little bit out, well, so keeping it here may be a danger to like fall. Um, the only thing I'm wondering about is should we keep the you're probably right before we say keeping it here only because it'll be a response then to to what the hero said. Only only because of that. It's not like it's super vital or anything but it will confirm that she's a lot more polite than this one in this option if you push her in the lake. Um, yeah, pretty good day, lots of work, but really nice to be home. Yeah, you should definitely relax and have an awesome day, Andy Cake. That's what you deserve. She could, I think the hmm is a good thing to add, though, so we should definitely have that. 
And then now this one. I didn't ask you. Find certain way. Yeah, and I, I, I definitely like that I didn't ask you because it it's like a response to one of the three things here I've said as well. Um, I didn't ask you, but since you owe me a favour for pushing me in the lake. Okay, so this is the thing. British people spell favour with a U. We're weird, aren't we? So because I'm British, I'm going to keep the U's in certain words just for consistency. Um, so we'll keep the U in favour. Welcome back, True Baldy. How's it going? It's good to have you back. How was your journey home? Hope it was a smooth one. I didn't ask you, but since you owe me a favour for pushing me in the like... Tate rose to the heart of the Everbloom Forest. Should we be consistent and say Tate rose in both of them? Could you Tate rose to the heart of it? So we could do that. Tate rose to. The, the heart the ever bloom hang on I'm reading the wrong box here <laughs> take rose to the heart of the ever bloom virus and feed it to mine's living there so it's basically the same um, except she's not asking a question in this last box she's demanding the hero do it so because she's mad Take rose to the heart of the Evelyn Vice and feed it to the monster living there. So yeah, it's definitely more of a demand if you push in the lake, but she it's, it's like a polite request if you didn't push her in the lake. Keep the youth, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about consistency and mutative excuses options at least in my opinion. Yeah, I suppose like it's not like people are going to see what the previous dialogue was. Um... I guess it, it's there's not really a big deal, Rose or it, whatever we call it. But uh, when was the last time we called a Rose? Yeah, I guess we don't want to call a Rose too often because then it could come across a bit repetitive. But if we haven't men mentioned her name for a while, then sometimes it's a good, it's not a bad idea to say it again. Don't know about Rory Glately just because she's a kid, like you'll get a big reward instead up to you. Do you know how old she is? Um, I think I believe um in the dialogue with Nigel Buckington I said that she was 13, but part of me kind of wants to make her a little bit younger than that now. I feel like the character could work as somebody who is 12 or a little bit under 12. So yeah. Between 10 and 12, maybe. Greatly just seems very official, or I don't know, proper. That's true, Battle Sandwich. What do you reckon, Elite? Is there something we could do to make that sound more young for like a 10 to 12 year old, maybe? What do you reckon? Um, take Rose to Heart the Other Moon first and feed it to the monster living there. I mean, she is a very mature young girl, like she's an innkeeper and stuff, so she can't be like too childlike. She's like very old for her years in that way because she's actually, she's able to run an inn and she's more, she's definitely more capable than her older brother. But at the same time, that still be nice to have a bit of childness in her, I suppose. You'll get a big reward. If she's... Uh, 13, younger than 13 and definitely a little simple big instead of greatly like you'll get a big reward yeah or well, I'll give you a big reward from the village okay you you will get a big reward 
Should we should we add from the village or do you think that might be we could leave it just as big reward? It could work simply as that to be honest. You will get a big reward. Okay. Unless you want the innkeeper running you out of town. Yeah, I like I definitely was very fan a fan of that little subtle line because we obviously if we're pushing like she doesn't know who the innkeeper is because we wouldn't have had the same conversation as the one above and we'll have to remember at a later date when we get back to the inn um the hero might be a bit puzzled when he finds out that she's actually the innkeeper and not nigel if we pushed her in the lake so those are these are some things we have to note and remember because of because uh as things get more complicated with the branching paths we'll have to take note that the hero will know different things or not know certain important bits of information looks good though yay love the idea of 13 year old girl um threatening to run you out of town even if you don't know she's referring to herself yeah it's very clever i mean i didn't actually realize that at first because i completely forgot that if you pushed in the light you didn't have that dialogue but it's really it's true you don't you only have that dialogue if you didn't push in the like she's used to it by now and uses it to her advantage but yeah she is 13 at the moment but i'm thinking of making it 12 so um because i think 12 just gives it's more of a child than than a teen because if she's a teen she seemed like there's like even though there's only a year difference it seemed like a big one so yeah i'm thinking of making it 12. do you have an information sheet for all the characters not yet true baldy but what why we haven't yet is because we haven't yet decided what all the npcs are gonna be but we are gonna have probably a few streams maybe in a few weeks time um discussing the npcs of like fall and we'll really bring them to life we'll talk about them as people and their backstories and stuff and i mean they won't be as detailed as the main characters the community characters the character sheets of course they're our main characters they're, they're the most detailed ones npcs aren't gonna be as deep as those characters but at the same time i still want to give the npcs a bit of personality because they'll be give, they'll be the ones giving side quests out and they'll be they'll be like little quest arcs with those side quests you know and it'll really help give like fall a bit more you know it make it more of an interesting place nothing worse than blank boring npcs in my opinion so there will probably i will probably do a little graphic or something or even if i don't do a graphic i'll at least have uh, a page on the website that shows their avatar and a little description of them all and maybe we could do it that way once we get the website do something like that on the website and um yeah just like a little description of what they're like as people and stuff and we did we'll do the same for areas and places as well because it's very important when people are new to the stream as well to update them on what what everywhere is like so that they've got some knowledge of the game anyway let's catch up with chat because i'm behind can i have the link to join the discord again thank you elite thank you so much for giving vic and that lead that link i think I'm, I'm not talking properly again the gateway to ad adulthood there's a big difference yeah exactly that's exactly my thoughts 13 just sounds so much more older than 12 i feel like it makes more more significant different than i just thought yeah and um yeah so that's why i'm gonna make a 12 instead of 13 just makes her seem younger and it makes it just a bit more surprising that she's an innkeeper and that capable at 12 whereas if she's at 13 you think nah that's not weird but at 12 it's like whoa little girl and innkeeper, innkeeper impressive um oof really feel for the girl now that i thought about that <laughs> get it i'm way too done to come up with that on purpose though you were so right about the blank boring yeah i that's an, an important thing to me with this game i really want to make have really good characterization and 
people, even just the NPCs that give you side quests are interesting. It just makes it so much more fun for sure. So that's why we're definitely going to have a few streams where we talk about the NPCs and we'll think of side quests ideas together and stuff, how we can link um, an NPC's personality and backstory with a potential story with the Everbloom Forest and a, qu a potential quest they could send the hero on. That'll be super fun. And side quests, of course, will be optional in the game. They'll give you rewards, but they're not forced. The, the only thing that's forced is the main quest. Way too dumb to come up with that on purpose, though. You were so right. Yeah, except when they were enemy anyway, but that shouldn't be the majority. Yeah. Yeah, some will be blank and boring. Some will just have that as their personality, but not many. I would recommend information sheets for all characters that are reoccurring involved in plot just to keep it consistent. For me personally, inconsistency story character line can be really annoying, yes. And we're still very early on, um, luckily. We're still on the first village and um, we haven't been introduced to many characters so far. So it's not it's not too like immediate that we have to do that, but it's definitely something important. Um, and this is another reason I want a website as well because we're eventually going to end up with like with about 10 Google Docs or something if we have like a doc for everything and or, and it'll just get confusing so having a website where everything is all on one place and easy to access will be ideal really. Maybe even information sheets for different locations, yeah. And um, Everbloom and Lakefall, well, what we'll probably do is I'll take a screenshot of each of them, have an image, and we'll have a little description by each of them and talk about the the backstory of each of the places and the lore. And yeah, it's just so important for, for people so they can understand what's going on in the game, what the story is like and stuff, because then they'll e easily be able to get involved um with the decision making in the game because if they don't know understand it or know what's happening it's it's going to be a lot more tricky but when episode one comes out people will just play that and find out that way but until that episode comes out people will need to be m made aware of what the places are all like and stuff and um Obviously, it could be very time consuming if we do like a character, a detailed character sheet that we've got for our community characters for every single NPC or every single player. So I will probably definitely simpl simplify it for the NPCs. Like I say, might not even do a graphic. Likely we'll just have a page on the website where we have a box for each of them and a description with their avatar or something. Um, but the community characters are super special, so anyone that's a community character do get the character sheets because they're all the main characters in the game. And welcome back, Azriel. I really love that you are consistent and engaged with us, though I, though I don't say anything most of the day. Yay! <laughs> welcome back, Richard. You get that patchwork in yet? Add an example of how I use Draw.io to the Discord viewers. Yeah, defo. I mean, I'm very intrigued to see how you guys do your flows because it'll help me and it might inspire me as well. Although I'm not too, this isn't too bad how I'm doing it now, but you never know. There could be more effective ways. Um, it's undergoing certification. <laughs> I hope the meeting was good, um, Azriel. Meetings can be boring. Okay, so have we have we changed it all to what we need to? Feed it to monster living. There you go. Big reward. I didn't ask you, but since you owe me a favour by putting me in the lake, take rest of it. Feed it to monster living. Now. I shouldn't want the innkeeper running you out of town. Um, she could definitely like totally do a sort of either an angry face or a smirky face, like a, a sassy smirk face for that particular line. We'll have to we will have to decide together what'll be the most appropriate face when we do the dialogue in a sec when we put it in RPG mode because we'll be we'll be adding all this dialogue with the expressions in a sec guys and then we'll do the test play. Um, and that was all good, wasn't it? And it leads to the unlocking of new quest, main quest number two. Hi poo. So you know when I was talking about the bugs earlier that we've got the bugs are in the character 
well in the quest journal not the actual quest journal in the menu but the one i've got on the map overlay and i'll show you what the books are when we do the test play it's a little bit annoying and a bit confusing but i'm sure we will fix it yay well done you've done a paragraph can't wait to see what you what you've done okay so i'm gonna just save and i'm gonna check for typos um, and then I'll upload it onto dialogue suggestions just so you guys can see the final version and then we'll get it in RPG Maker. Um, here is his pearl, dark haired woman in a cage, little sister follows him, inside. watch out. That, if you spot any typos by the way that I miss, let me know. Watch out that creature behind the room, how dare you. Do we need a comma there? We might or we might not, I'm not sure. Okay, it seemed like everything's good. The only thing I wasn't sure about was if we needed a comma in between, you know, in this sentence here where she says, I called it Rose after a thorn fabric because that could work without comma but i'm not sure if that would be the correct grammar <laughs> i need you you writing pros to tell me oh my god i just had a little brief look at the discord as well and i've seen you fly it's huge we'll have we'll have flows like that with a dialogue soon i'm sure in the future when we get long conversations Okay, so I'm gonna just read out this without coming. It belongs to me. I called it Rose after a thorn fire picked. To me, that sounds like that could work, but I oh know. I guess I'm not a fan of commas. <laughs> I do like them sometimes, but not all the time. Save. So if guys confirm that if you're okay with that, if there's anything you think immediately needs changing or if you're like, no Rose, check, put that there, put that, then tell me now because we're about to export it. We're about to export it and this is going to be it. Huzzah! We'll have to get RPG Maker open. My goodness, we have been slow coached today. Well, I've been slow coached anyway. But um, even when streams aren't too productive, like we don't get much done, I still think it's so, so useful and great to have these sort of conversations, just chats about things. Because that, you know, that's what keeps you inspired and gives you new ideas and things. We don't want it to just be work, work, work. It's nice to have the, the chats. Okay, so I think it's all saved now. So let's go in the thingy magic. So I'm just copying this that so we can put that as the caption. Oh my goodness me oh my goodness thank you for the 330 bit is late that is very kind of you and that means that three people in chat got special emotes who who got them guys who got the emotes let us know and make sure to thank elite for the emotes yay thank you let's have some hype your your badge i believe has been upgraded now to a cloud badge Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Oh, you got one, Mason. I'm glad. Use my American powers of consumerism for good. Thank you so much. I appreciate those bitties. 
Okay, so let's upload this. All good. I'm happy with those changes. Are you guys? Right, I'm going to open RPG Maker now. And um, the, the actual dialogue scene by the lake isn't 100% perfect yet. We've got all the dialogue put in. We've got the face expressions done and I'm happy about that. But there's a few little things that I might modify, such as obviously we have to do the pushing the like animation. I haven't yet done that. Um, the moment the hero hears the scream, it's very sudden. He literally walks into the cabin as soon as he hears it. And it seems very unnatural for him to do that. It would make more sense if he was like, you know, what's that? And then he walks into the cabin. No, because it just was like, you know what I mean? Him just like hearing a scream and just walking in there. But when I do the task play, you'll know what I mean. So it's just that as an edit that needs to be done. Um, okay, here we are. And cabin. There was one thing I was looking at this cabin earlier, and it's not, we're not, this isn't the complete final cabin yet, but I've decided that what I'll probably do is I'll make adjustments over time to the cabin as we work on this scene. Because um, I'm one of these people that can't, you know, sometimes I have to look at it a few days after and be like, hang on, I don't like it like that, it needs to move over there. I cannot ever design something in one day. Is that I think fresh eyes are always very useful. But what I did think was moving the cage to this corner here rather than having it here. I thought maybe it could look better like that. I don't know what you guys think. But we can just try that now to see. And maybe something else could go in the middle. Something a bit like a homely kind of thing. I don't know, like something that indicates that it used to be a home. And maybe could have some storage stuff here because it's going to be half abandoned home and half storage room now. So, um, thank you, B Man Studio, for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Changes fit nicely, Rose. Yay! Took about a week to write all the text of the game that flow was for my eight year old daughter to beat the game in <laughs> under 10 minutes. Really? That's awesome. A 10 minute game. That's so cool. I can watch ads for bits but still totally hear you and see chat. So it's a good way to farm bits for you. Thank you. That's really generous that you'd even want to watch the ads. I'm very, I have to say, I'm very jealous of you Americans because I would do the same. If, if, if ads were allowed in the UK, I would totally farm ads, but I can't. I hope they release them for us in the future. I really do. <laughs> but multiply that by 10 minutes by a thousand plus people playing the game and it's worth it. Yeah, I agree. It's a good point. To be fair, I only made the game to get used to how the engine called text and JSON files. Yeah, well, it's, every game is worth it, even if it's a short game. It could still be a work of art. We don't get that option. Boo! Farm bits, is that a thing? Yeah, if you're living in the USA, you can watch bits for at first. We call it farming bits. And um, I've, I've, there's, I've always wanted to be able to give bits. To people but I've never been able to because we're not I'd have to actually buy them if I wanted to give bits and they can be very pricey so yeah I'm, I think that it, I think twitch need to let UK folks have uh, the bitters for ants for sure Dave I thank you for the host I appreciate you how are you doing Dave it's lovely to see you I hope you're having a good morning do you mean as a view you can get bits from ads? Never heard of that, so I imagine I miss hearing. <laughs> well, viewers can't, unfortunately, but it would be pretty awesome if you could. Sounds like your country needs to make some more risky financial decision before you're trusted to spend money as your response us, yeah. Hello, Rose, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay, Dave. I'm, I'm getting on with my things, the fun things like this game. 
and um, I'm having lots of fun doing it. And I hope that you're doing well too, Dave. Can't believe I'm alive. Oi. Hyper for Dave. I think Brexit is risking up for us, yeah. Oh my goodness! We got more bitties going on, guys. True Boulder. Again, spoiling me. First with the gig subs and now with 500 bits. Thank you so much. And now, people, 10 people in chat got rewards for that. Who did? Who got the emotes? Let us know, guys. Thank you so much. Let's have some hype for True Bold, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't deserve the kindness. I'm barely awake trying to get some breakfast and coffee in my body. You get that coffee in your body, Dave. You get it in there. My good. Oh my goodness me, Valve. You're nearly in the top 100. You pro lurker, you. Almost top 100. Congrats. You are getting there. You are certainly getting there. I mean, so is our president in, in him, of himself. <laughs> You're adorable, Raza. Thank you. I try to be. <laughs> you deserve every bit of it. Thank you, True Baldy. Just hugging a little plush was really amusing once. And I said, yeah, whenever something hype happens on stream, I always tend to bring it out. So he's our hype, he's our hype mascot. And you know what? He's got wings like a bat. And it's it's the perfect mascot for a bat stream. Don't you think? <laughs> I mean, I love Final Fantasy. I love bats. Moogle's like a perfect choice for the stream mascot. <laughs> Can't compliment words like that. British people don't know how to handle compliments. Yeah, I get all shy, but I do appreciate them. Yay, Chief, <laughs> I'm no. Oh, yay, thank you for the 15. Bit is elite. You're farming those bitters. I appreciate it. True Baldy, you're number two on the board now, on the bit board. I think you, you caught up with Val, didn't you? Good job. Good job, True Baldy. Well, actually, you're joint number one, actually, because, you know, Go Ghosty is five, 500 bits too, so really, you, you should buy free first. A spoiled rose is a good rose. Oh, thank you. Rose, where can I share the paragraph I've written? In the Discord, we have a creative work channel. I'll give you a little peep. I'll get it, get it up and make sure you know where it is. It's down here. Um, it's the highlighted one because the one must have posted in there. So, um, yeah, anything cre creative related to any of your your guys's, you guys' real projects. Is that even a word, you guys? I don't know. Vikran, welcome. Yay. So, yeah, pop it in there for sure. You got me there. Hello, Rose. Hello, all. I've had to look these past days. Head mum visiting. Hi, Kung. Oh, my goodness. Well, I appreciate you so much for just giving me that look. And I hope your mum's doing okay. It's lovely to see you. Hope you're doing good, Kung. And having a good time with your mum. You still gifted me a sub, so you win. Fantasia, thank you for the host. How are you doing, Fantasia? Yeah, he gifted you a sub. You know what would be a really cool feature on Twitch? If you could sub with bits, I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, that would need to be something that's introduced. Like 500 bits or something would be worth a sub, maybe. Hello, beautiful people. How's the development going? Hi, hi, Rob. How's it going? It's lovely to see you. It's been a very chatty day today, I have to say. Sometimes that happens. been a lot more of the chatty days lately than the quieter days. But I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> I love those days. But sometimes in the quieter days, I get more done, I have to say. But I, I love the chatty days. They're, 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 they're the best. I don't feel lonely then. <laughs> Goes to tweet about Rose. Yay. Thank you, Fantasia. I'll look on Twitter in a sec. I'm surprised you can't sub with bits. I know, right? Do you think I'll ever do that in the future? The battle sat sandwich and I rev up the chat. No, I'm actually very happy you guys found me because since you both joined the community, I've I don't know, I felt very inspired. 
and it's it's lovely when I talk about chat being busy don't ever think for a moment I'm complaining it's the opposite <laughs> and at the end of the day I get plenty of time to do get really focused off stream because this is kind of my full-time job at the moment I'm sort of treating it as so I can do this in the afternoon the streams but for the another four hours of the day I or three hours or whatever I can either in the evenings or the mornings I'm not a morning person so it'd usually be in the evenings I would do stuff off stream for the game try and do bugs or all the boring stuff so the stream is so we got fun things to do on the stream for the next day <laughs> well, I'd be sorry. I have a problem with spanning the heck out of chat. Yeah, it's fine. I'm buzzproof, I think. Never tested it before, but hey, had to be done. And guys, people who are very chatty and chat are a blessing. Um, every streamer wants them. So it's a good thing. A very good thing. <laughs> but lurkers are lovely too. I mean, lurkers are the, are the, the spine of a channel, aren't they? There's no stream without the lurkers. Um, my brain keeps thinking of something new to say right when I hit enter, yay. All tweet is yay. Hi Root, Shell, how are you doing today? It's awesome to see you, welcome. And thank you for the follow. It's good to meet you. How are you, Root? Tell us about yourself. I'm always intrigued about the new new peoples. Did you hear that? We're good things, yeah you are. Appreciate you guys, really do. Okay, so. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to check Twitter because Fantasia posted a tweet. Thank you. I'm going to I'm going to retweet you. I'm going to retweet Fantasia. Thank you so much. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, I was chatting about how I've moved the cage here. Now we have a little problem as well. Um, Rose is currently in front of the cage. Was it? Was there an idea given for how to do that? Because I remember one of you guys telling me how to solve problems with uh, different layered tile sets, and I was trying to get my head around it, and I still couldn't because I'm a I'm a silly Billy. Um, but from what I gather, you can't like merge anything that's on the same layer. Is that is that true? I'm still getting my head around this, the tile sets and how they work. But I did think of an idea how to do it. What I could do, you can make, you can actually make an event, can't you? Like this. So for example, if I made the cage as an event, I just put that there for now. It's not the right cage, but, um, oh no, it wouldn't work because Rose is an event, damn it unless put it above her but I don't know if that would work oh no yeah that was that was my way to like have the cage above her I also I did I, I went into the tile sets and put the star as well on the cage but that didn't work because this what the star does is it puts um the object in front of the character but I don't want the whole cage in front of Rose I only want the front bars to give the impression she's in the cage not behind it so the only other thing I can think of is do an overlay like another parallax map or something I don't know that's one thing that springs to mind anyway welcome everybody new here yay Rose says the things about me my mom never told me. Oh really? Oh no. You deserve good things sent said about you. I send a link in creative channel to a Google Doc. Feel free to check it out and you can. I'm curious what people think about it since it's been a while I've written something. Yeah, if anyone wants to read uh, a Victor and Story, um, check out that creative channel for sure. Are you making new Stardew Valley? Well, it's a very different genre to Stardew. This is an RPG game. And if you're intrigued about this program, I suppose it is kind of, it has got the sort of Stardew Valley style in art, and most RPG Maker projects have. But if you want to re look at the project and, well, the software that's used, that is the link to read, Root Shell. I'm doing good, Root. Senpai like my tweet, I liked and retweeted it. The layers go in order, A on the bottom, E on the top, yeah. So one thing I do know is that all this stuff, this is like, these are the ground tiles, aren't they? 
and you can put anything B to E on those ground tiles and it won't, you know, that'll overlap fine. But you, from what I've seen, you can't overlap any of the others. Like, if I was wanting to put a spider web over the cage, it wouldn't. Oh, it has. What on earth? I am puzzled because last time I did this, when I put this spider web over the cage, it deleted the cage. RPG Maker MV is very strange sometimes. So, for some reason, it has allowed me to overlap put things on the same layer today why is that because last time we did this the this spider web deleted the cage <laughs> i don't even know what's going on it seems random to me when it wants to delete things and when it doesn't what has happened guys does anyone know why that works now and why it didn't last time i'm still very getting my head around how rpg maker mv do this tile set thing um, you probably put something else out of the cage already so it deleted the cage because it was because it was the bottom layer it was likely the spot the cage was in okay well I did just move the cage so I changed the asset made mm, interesting interesting but yeah hopefully hopefully um, that's what it is because I'm really happy if we can do that we can we got more options then for what we can put over objects. You're kind of limited, aren't you, if you can't overlap things. Like the chains. Yeah, it was the spot the cage in. Maybe we'll keep it there then. I think it looks okay here in the corner. But we'll we'll definitely put some more we'll fill this room out more for sure than what it currently is. Um, but at the moment we'll just keep it like this. Um, we, do, we do need to just think of a way to get the bars over rows though, it's it's a bit, I, I, I would rather have something that's easier than having to do an overlay on a parallax map, but um, something a bit more simple, but the parallax map thing is my only solution at the moment, hmm, okay. Watch Smash with Kids, are you a cat person? <laughs> he is. He's a feline. As Riel's a feline character. He's, a, he's like a, a Khajiit from Skyrim, basically. They're very sim gonna be very similar to the Khajiits. Because they're furries. Question is, are there any backstories to any of the races or any major things story-wise you have going on with any of the races? Well, not yet. Well, kind of. Because we improvise this as we go along, nothing is 100% fleshed out. We just like kind of have bits of information at the moment. So everything that's in the character sheets, um, which you can read, there's a, there's a few ways to read the character sheets. It's in, there's a link in the panels but there's also they're also here on the discord as well right here so if you're curious and want to read everything is all in here basically but i am going to do a website and the website's going to be very i'm going to try and make it an information kind of thing where there's lots of talk about each of the places and the law so far just so people are informed because we haven't got a graphic or anything like that for everbloom forest or lake fall yet um so it'll be nice to do that for the places not just the characters but probably just be a bit more simple they won't have a fancy character sheet or anything it'll just be um something a bit more simple just so i don't overwhelm myself with too much too much graphical work on the side so Rose is under them, hey, hey. yeah. <laughs> I've been using Asher and Gansy in can think of where I got the name from. Then my kids watch Smurfs and go from... Oh, there's someone in Smurfs called Azrael. I'm confused. I thought she was calling you a Smurf because you're blue. I, I, that's what I thought. Azrael is a good and pretty kitty. It's a really nice name. Oh, I'm so silly. But yes... Before the end of the year, I'm hoping to get the website getting good. I mean, I'm probably going to launch it before the end of the year, like maybe even this month or start of next month. But um, it'll it'll probably be quite empty at first, and I'll gradually add info over time to it. And I'm gonna, you guys can hopefully 
well, that will be where you guys can read stuff about the game. If you go to Tarzan and make the bars on the cage a star, then the rose event should be under them. Yeah, that's what I did, uh, um, Elite. Hang on, let's get, get, get us back up. I was like, oh my goodness, let's make them stars. So where are we? Where's the cage? late fall inside yeah i was like oh my god we'll make it a start and then what happened was rose was behind the whole cage i only wanted to be behind the bars so what are we gonna do what are we gonna do oh one that if you mean make a separate like asset for the bars like we could always put the bars here or something and then put the star on them and then put the bars on the map would that work it sounds a bit complex but Maybe that's the only way we could do it. Discard changes. Maybe. Because we can't have the whole cage. The whole cage don't work because then she goes behind the whole thing. So we don't, yeah, we'd have to do the bars maybe. Hopefully that could work. And then we could just like grab them and put them over. Um, fingers crossed. We could try that. Um, have I got it right? Let me know if I'm misunderstanding or not. Um, the villain's cat is called... Azrael, not sure if it's the same spelling, I have to look it up. Okay, I never actually, I did watch a bit of Smurfs when I was a kid, but not enough for me to remember any of the names. Share her as on the top of them, on the screen, because she's an event. When you play, she will be behind them, because you're on the dev screen, yeah. I d oh, I did do a test play though, and she was behind them, she was behind them then. It's getting all confused now. Don't worry, guys. I, she, she was behind them on the test, but I can show you if you want. Put the star on. So there we go. Because I think that's the cage I'm using. That set there in the middle. I don't need all the other cages, so I could always delete them. Um, but yeah. So we, when we do our test play, you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, with her being behind the whole thing. Never mind, did you make sure to star the cages? Yeah, that's the one. So you'll see what I mean now, because it is quite hard to uh, explain in just words, um, but when you actually see it on the screen, you'll know what I mean then. But uh, right, so should we, we'll do a test plan now actually, because we need to see where we are, and I think uh, it'll lead us inside the cabin. So let's do a test plan now. Fingers crossed we don't get lag. Fingers crossed. I'm going to mute the audio a sec as well. Just because we might get some game sound coming through. And we don't want the background Final Fantasy XIV music uh, clashing with it. Oh no. We, we have the sound off at the moment. So we're good. I'll put it back on. So here's our playtest screen. We haven't had any lag. Hooray. Um, at the moment, I have it so I've got all the sound on 0% volume, only because some test players will have the sound on because we'll need it on to test that that's all working good, of course. But sometimes when I'm just doing a random test of something that's not to do with the sound, I'll mute the sound just so it doesn't clash with our background music in stream. Trying to make my character now. Yay, Fantasia. Yeah, and you can make them anything you want to be. I mean, the reptiles, as you can see, are the an have kind of become the antagonists, if you've noticed, on the character sheet. But that doesn't mean there isn't good reptiles out there. Like, not, not everything is black and white. And if there was ever an ally reptile, that would be cool. But be whatever you want to be, for sure. Um... You, nothing, you've got freedom and people like people have kind of decided the law for their characters like Azrael he's picked the feline and he's decided that he was part of an army and he's got a really big backstory for him and it, it's really cool because it just makes it gives it fleshes the story out and gives me inspiration and ideas because it's not all me that's deciding after all it's the community too and um, yeah, I'll be doing playtest of Banzai Heroes on my stream now too. I finally got display capture running. Yay, how did the stream go yesterday, Elite? How was it? Okay, so let's do a narrow sound test play. 
and see how this is going. So yeah, we've got late fall, bless cascades, silent haven. So silent haven is the save point we want. I'm a hungry one. I'm going to get some soya milk soon. Oh my goodness, I'm see-through. Kind of see-through sometimes. If I can. I need to fix it. It went well. We got lots of good feedback from people. So much more watchable today. Yay! That's awesome. I'm glad people stopped by. It's awesome to hear. Can always be a challenge as a new streamer to to get that those first people stopping. But once you do, it's 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 awesome. Thank you again for rating. You're welcome. Okay. So let's have the conversation. And I, okay, I'm going to talk, tell you what the bugs are as well, guys. I, sorry about the weird cam today, by the way. We had an issue where I had to reset my cam. But um, I'll get it fixed at some point. Um, so the first bug is, can you see in the corner we have, this corner up here, we have a quest thing, a quest overlay on the, the, on the screen basically it's the quest journal we can also access the quest journal in the menu if we want to see the list of all the quests we've got it'll be like exactly like how a quest log is in an rpg game basically even though it looks quite empty at the moment and for like in some games we have like something that's like a window um of the quests on the actual map I know that MMOs do it a lot and I really like it and so some single player RPGs do it too and if you don't like it there is always the option to disable it in the menu so you got the choice basically um, but the bug we had was if you notice the text was black at the start for some reason when we load save and now it's gone back to normal so I'm like okay <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, let's exit again to the title and load in. And now it's normal. It's like it randomly goes black sometimes. Let's, let's turn the whole thing off and it'll probably, probably be black again, the text. Now we've turned it off strange very strange obviously we don't want that bug because people don't want black text and we'll have a custom loading screen i hope for sure if as long as it's possible in rpg maker to do which i think it is we'll have a fancy custom loading screen um yeah black black text which is what we don't want and i have no idea why it's doing that and um, if there's anybody who knows then that'll be super cool but i'm going to post the problems in discord anyway so people who aren't currently in stream could help if that, that might know um, i'm going to sort the cam out because it's being a bit of a pain it's been a silly That'll do for now. Rosta looks oh thank you. It's just a little I was a little bit see-through in parts. But it's okay. It's still what it's still viewable. <laughs> Getting the momentum going is the hardest part of any long-term endeavor, yeah. But, yeah, it for sure. I agree, Dover. I need I need milk. I've changed my diet from normal milk to soya milk now. I was getting like a really bloated, horrible stomach from normal milk. Okay, so yeah, that is the first bug problem. And the second bug problem isn't really a bug, it's more of a personal preference. But you'll see it when we dab the dialogue. Basically, what I have found out is that RPG Make MV doesn't seem to like having two windows open at once. So whenever a text dialog box appears that box in the corner with the quests on it disappears and then it comes back again it keeps like switching between the two and it's just visually quite annoying to look at i'd rather that 
um, quest box stay where it is just like the map does because the map stays where it is and the reason the map does is because that's an image it's a picture file it isn't an event um, window or anything like that um, so I don't know if that's even possible to do I mean um, if, if these bugs turn out too complicated and we can't fix them the simple thing to do would be to just not have this feature of the quest on the screen but I personally like it um, and I like giving people the option to have that as well so but so it'd be great if we could fix the bugs for that reason it's probably a dialog box itself the quest box so when the new one pops up yeah that's exactly what happens and this is what you'll see I mean right let's get her up see it's disappeared and uh, yeah it's a hundred percent because that's also a box and um yeah i wonder if there's any way to keep it staying up that's what i'm curious about and um and then when the dialogue box goes off it comes back up for a split second and it's just yeah visually not what we want so yeah if you saw you'll see it if you keep a close eye on the screen you'll see in that corner the that quest box will be like on and off and, and yeah we we don't want that um so yeah and it's weird because this is a really big plugin it's made by Jan Fly, which is who is one of the more he the the maker the, the Jan Fly plugin creator is one of the most popular RPG maker plugin creators and I kind of hope that it would be very easy to solve this sort of issue because of the plugin being as popular as it is and I thought that other people might have it had this issue too if they used it that they would have thought they don't like how the it disappears when the dialogue boxes could appear as well but it seems that nobody else has had this problem I'm, I don't know maybe they just don't care <laughs> maybe I'm just a full spot maybe that's what it is um probably how it's built not changeable maybe there's an option to use a box besides a dialogue box or a plugin that allows you to have multiple dialogue boxes open yeah I wonder if Balsam would all Oh, oh no he says he was a uh, he was good at this sort of thing so i might post the problem in discord and see if he, he knows a way around it but it's worth trying before we give up at least i love how you involve your community good luck thank you so much maro welcome to the stream it's good to meet you i have an itchy eye but thank you very much for the kind words so ignore the silly uh, quest box for now because while this, we have this cutscene I'm hoping we can solve the problem but yeah it's, it's definitely an irritant to have it just flashing in the corner um, between dialogue conversations so yeah He's, um, you can't hear the screen because the sound's muted at the moment, but basically what happened then was there was a scream, and it all happens a bit too quick at the moment. They hear, as soon as the scream sound effect goes off, the hero's like instantly in the cabin, and that's not what we want. We also have another webcam issue. Got a green screen corner. To just have it like this for now I'm afraid and I'm a bit see-through probably yeah so uh, he instantly in the cabin so we need to make it more a natural reaction from the hero rather than that because at the moment it looks very unnatural what plugin is this y yep 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 it is that's right that's the Yan fly plugin did you check wait for completion on the movement route um I might have I think I actually did tick that but everything genuinely is happening a bit quick I think something interesting that could be added is um, a potential sort of speech bubble above the hero's head and like an exclamation mark I know that there is a, a plugin or something that lets you do that um, and it could be useful especially because he's a hero that doesn't talk much to have like reactions like that to think to sounds or shocking things that happen maybe 
Um, because it, it, you want some sort of reaction, don't you? Not just a mute that stands there, not reacting to anything that goes on in the game. You can do that. Look for balloon icons in event tabs. Okay, cool. If there's anything uh, you, you want to send as a link, if that I mention, I'm interested in, feel free to as well. Um, that is a plugin. But if it's something that you can do in the game by default, that's awesome. Kind of AFK, sorry about exclamation mark bubbles and such a doable via plugin, but text above heads wasn't super great when I tried um, once more. Oh yeah, I definitely wouldn't put text um, in bubbles or anything. I only like symbols for showing reactions or very simple things. I kind of like how the dialogue currently is, so that's all good. But yeah, we'll, we'll, it's always good to test things, even if you do and think, actually, I'm not sure I like this. But we'll give it a go anyway. Okay, so this is where we the, where we left off is is in here. So we'll have to do an event where the hero moves a bit, um, walks up to the cage, and if you look at the cage, Rose is at, actually behind it. I know it looks like nothing's in there, but Rose is is behind the whole cage. Like it looks like the cage is on top of her, <laughs> so we'd need to chase alter things a bit to give the impression that she's just behind the front set of bars, not that the cage is crushed her like it looks at the moment. So um, we'll just have to have a think about how we can do that. So on page two, event command show balloon icon. Oh, okay, thank you, Elite. So you can do it with a plugin, but you can actually do it in the thing as well. Awesome. I'll have a look at that at some point and say. Simple thing for, for sure. A little weird timing wise, but much easier if not um, pairing time and movement and stuff. Yeah, I'll have a mess around with it. So, see what it's like. Because one thing I did find is with the screen, uh, when I tested it with the sound effect, it just seemed really unnatural that the scream happened and then the hero literally just walked to the cabin with no reaction. And speech bubbles is just one method, like a exclamation mark speech bubble like that is when the screams happen. Feels like it would be a reaction. So for sure it's, it could work. Don't know why I opted for the plugin thing before, must have been some reason, but who knows? Yeah, <laughs> well I'm glad there's a way. That's cool. So, yeah, the hero will move here or something, and then at this, when he's looking at the cage a few seconds later, the girl will come back in. Well, she'll come in. And um, you said there's a dripping plug-in, didn't you, or something for water. So I'll have a look into that too, because if you pushed into the lake, we'll want her to look a little bit wet, for sure. And she'll come in, and then the dialogue will start at that point. So we'll also have to think about fish animation as well. So let's go back to our screen. But but uh, Battle Sandwich, I know you're AFK at the moment. Um, um, I am going to post in Discord the little bug error I'm having, by the way. I'll post that in later when I've had my dinner and stuff. Um, just so you know. Um, well, I could actually just link you to the RPG Maker. Um um forum post that i put up actually probably be easier and oh no we have webcam problems again doesn't like me today can't get the balance right it's either uh i'm see-through or green screens appearing but i think that that'll do that'll do It's common to look for a plan, but RPG may can be common events, variables, common, you only need them to change certain things, trigger, yeah. No promises, but can try again later. Oh yeah, I'm one that can look for plugins as well. It's it's kind of sensible to not have too many, but it's nice to have them, just to give your game a bit of a unique touch as well. But there's definitely, you can definitely do a lot in RPG Maker as well, more than you think. Okay guys, I'm going to go and BRB just for a few minutes, going to have a walk around, get myself a drink um, and I need a snack because I'm a hungry one 
um, we still got quite a bit of time left before end of stream I'll see you guys in a bit we're gonna once I get back we're gonna get the event box done for the dialogue the cutscene um, and uh, we'll pick some good useful expressions that we can match with the dialogue that'll be cool okay I'll see you guys soon I'm back 
Oh my goodness, congrats Val, number 98, that is the top 100, that is an achievement, it's not easy to get that in the stream nowadays, you've clearly been lurking like nobody's business and I appreciate you. Ooh, coffee. I've got milk at the moment, guys. So soya milk. I quite like it. Oh my goodness, David. We need to... Uh, you, you updated your name, didn't you? Because you used to be called Dave or something else, didn't you? And what happens is, because you change your name, you went back to zero, as if you were an, an entire new person in the stream. So, um, it's fake. Dave is quite high, actually, because he did get a lot of raindrops on his old account. <laughs> Pile of raindrops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move those over, actually. We should do that now. Okay, so I'm back. Got a bit of a weird bit of hair sticking out on my ponytail. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so Dava. Okay, so Dava, zero, zero, one, had 547 raindrops. So we're going to add those now to your new diver account. <laughs> Dave is so high right now. Perfectly so. <laughs> I'm a liar, am I? How am I a liar? What have I done that's a liar? Okay, so... Let's add those those raindrops. Five five hundred and forty seven. Let's make sure I remember that. Five hundred and forty. Seven. So submit. You should have five hundred and ninety nine now. I'll delete Dave. <laughs> Dave has gone now. So if you do it now, Dave, you'll see your true your true raindrops. Yay, it's worked. Number 55 for Dave. Huzzah. Pugs. Bless her. Okay. So that's done, let's, uh... so how do I do this? Let's remind myself how I handle events that aren't um, when, you when you talk to the character. One that is like a parallel trigger. Um, so that's the screen when the first come on the scene. And we did, we had a conversation with Carol the Barrel as well, and that's how we did it there. So, I always keep um, things like this in the top corner, the top right corner, so I remember, and everything's consistent. We don't need the, uh, the row screen for that. Um, so what we do need to do is move the hero into a good position. So he like move up one, up. He'll be there. Up. Uh, right, 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 right. So one, two, three, four. So up one, four right. One, two, three. And maybe three up. Maybe we could do that. So. Damn, I can't even find the... Oh, there we go. Set movement route. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Wait for completion. Yeah, it's usually... It's always usually ticked there by default. 
and I usually like to keep it as that most of the time. As you're coming, better watch your back, lol. So small. Oh my god, you're not small at all, Lily. 200, 202 raindrops is bloody good. You need in the top 100. And considering you're like relatively new, that is not bad at all. I mean, yeah, we weren't even here in the streams when we were doing all the parallax mapping for the Everbloom Forest, and that seems like it was just yesterday. So that's progress for sure. Be hard to beat Azrael Studios here 24 7. Maybe he won't be some days. Maybe he'll forget or be busy, and that'll be the opportunity then to, to, to get ahead. <laughs> Have to be here all the time, Rose likes seeing the cat too much. I do. I do admit I like seeing the kitty walking across my, my screen. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness, Fantasia, you've nearly got a thousand. My goodness. Yay! See, see you early. Have a good stream. Right, tell us how it goes. Good luck. Hi, Bunny. How are you doing today? Welcome. Okay, so we're going to get the dining set. At this point, I think we're going to wait a bit too. We'll, we'll do some testing and see what works, but we'll keep it 300 frames for now. Maybe it should be less actually. Um, and then the little girl's going to appear. So. There's probably a few ways to do something like this. I'm sorry, I apologise for the random sticking up bit of hair I've got today. <laughs> Don't know why it's like that. It's not behaving. Benny, excuse me, I did not call you Benny. I called you Bunny. No, I did not call you like that. That is not how I say the word Bunny. You look fabulous as ever, Rose. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out the intricacies of my character without being overly complicated or ridiculous oh well you can you've got all the time in the world fantasia to think um no rush at all and be whatever you want to be i encourage you to be whatever you want command man what have you got a you got a bit of an attitude problem going on there, Bunny? I hope you I hope the day goes better for you if you if you're not having a good day. <laughs> okay, um where were we? So yeah, I was thinking how to get the sister into the room. So one thing we could do what's this event here? Hmm. We could have a random event here that's invisible with nothing in it and move it up and change the graphic maybe that's the first thing i can think of what are this game you making if you want to read about it it's mission mark project will tell you everything but we are going to get a website up and running soon and that will be better on final page yay I'll be excited to make your character Fantasia. Yay, thank you Asriel for the links. <laughs> Unranked, yes. You need to be in the stream for at least 10 minutes for it to, to add a raindrop. You'll get there though. So... What is it? What event is this? Event six. Move up. And at this point, the graphic can change. The change image. And um, her name is Fiona. Yeah, so change the graphic to her. Move up, move up. Maybe that'll do. We'll see. We might we might want to move her a little bit more, but we'll just test how that is. 
kind of how it ran. Well, mine is amazing because it's part of the stream. So you'll grow to love it, right? Because it's awesome here. Okay, so. Uh, let me just check something. Yeah, I usually put 10 frame weight in between things just so things aren't super rushed and people can't just do that and press enter and stuff quiet British accent yeah good one got a good accent haven't I yeah but it is very British Okay, so at this point it can be where the dialogue starts. So let's go and remind ourselves what the dialogue is. Yeah, so right, this is where we have to start thinking about variables. My brain isn't working at the moment. Really, I hear revenge hacks and high wheel. Oh, it's so lovely to see. How was your day? And yeah, I am French actually. <laughs> Wheelow is right. Okay, so I'm literally going to be lazy and copy and paste from here because it's the easiest thing to do. That's why. So, show text. Watch out, that creature in the cage is dangerous. But the thing is with our text, we don't have our text done in an ordinary way. We put something in front of it. And the reason why we do this, why we have this weird random text in front of our dialogue is because we have a special sort of dialogue pop-up box. And these are the settings we need to get it working. And yeah, we have to match. Oh, where's our Fiona? So she says, watch out, that creature in the cage is dangerous. Okay, let's just get this back up again. Um, she'd probably have either an angry face or if I go on this screen, you'll see better. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Because unfortunately, the, my other screen doesn't show this particular pop up. So sometimes I might change the display capture so you guys can see. My day was, was too busy, very stressful at work, going through a massive restructure. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you're home now, Wheelo, and you can chill. I hope that stress goes away soon. I'm going to burp. <laughs> that was a bit of a weird burp. I can't, you know, when you kind of burp, but it doesn't come out properly. That was what happened. The milk's full, the soya milk. My new favourite milk. Yeah, she'd have an angry face. Or maybe this face. Dunno if I don't know well you can see it's quite small. Sometimes, but it's bigger in game. It's bigger in game than it is in the editor. So we'll have to do a test play to see it properly. Um. Right. So how did we? Let me. It's been absolutely months since I last did a, a branching conversation. Um like before like the real the one was this one with Nigel I mean I know we kind of had one in Silent Home by the lake here but uh Nigel's had like more choice options let me just look because with Nigel's conversation we with our custom hero, he's either, you can either have a man or a female, and we did it so based on what your gender is. He either says sir or madame, basically. 
and it works. It was good. I was happy when I saw it worked. Watch out, the creature in the cage is dangerous, browsing in the cage. Thank you, Weed. Are we getting uh, more um, spam bot follows again? Uh, if you're real people, I'm, blo I'm, I'm bloody happy and nice to meet you. But I'm very skeptical today about new follows simply because we had a lot of, we had a spam bot attack earlier. And uh, yeah, there was like a, like a bazillion followers of fake people. And, um, so if you are, if you are, uh, not bots introduce yourself it'd be lovely to meet you i love meeting new people but thank you for the quiet wheelo i am i'm in, I'm in I'm, i should be caged up <laughs> i'm dangerous my god goodness it's gone cold rose is paranoid but a lovely person but you can't blame me can you after our experience early earlier today Yay, 120 raindrops, Cornelius. I am a human who acts like a bot. Oh, yeah, you, you're real. I'm glad. Welcome, Jenny. And um, um, Eraser. Welcome to stream. I know that you're real now. <laughs> Yay. Good to meet you. She's down just like running across the street without looking both ways. Yeah, I don't do that. No, actually, I do. I'm actually a very careful person on the streets. I always watch myself. I'm too careful and cautious. But I do jaywalk. I will confess that I'm a jaywalker. And um, I nearly got myself arrested in the USA. It's not a crime here though. In the UK jaywalking. So. Lovely personal times. Thank you Edo. You're too good to me. Totally not a bot. Shelter dweller. How you doing? It's lovely to see that you are real guys because <laughs> i'm i was so like every time now i get a follow i'm like it's a bot <laughs> but it'll go away with time it's only because of the unfortunate bot spam i had earlier in the stream i'm a little raindrop not a bot oh i know you're real cornelius you've been here plenty of times and you can't you can't be a bot no way Rose was going to ban us all, kidding. Nah, I, I wouldn't even ban the bots. I was just a little bit worried. I thought, I don't want them, to, I don't want to have fake followers or anything. That was my only concern. Um, but I wasn't going to ban them or anything. <laughs> no one cares about safety in my time, really. My goodness, you got to watch yourself. You'll get yourself run over. It's getting very light. I think I have to head to bed soon. Have a great stream, folks. Have a good one, Rez. Thank you, Vikram. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck with your story. And continue to post chapters or and stuff in the creative work channel if you wish. Twitch bot become very cheap nowadays. So many use them. Yeah. There's so many random ones that lurk in chats as well. It's very weird. Why is stream gone so fast today, by the way, folks? Um, I mean, I don't want to get in, into anything too, um, that's going to be too time consuming now because we are coming towards the end of the stream. we still got a bit of time left though. Um, but I could do a test play and see how this works. So I'm going to do this, open it up again. And we do have a few bugs with our quest window, so need to solve those. But everything else is, is good at the moment. But as you can see, quest window, black font for some reason. And it's not meant to look like that. Need to try and fix that. And it also disappears. And I'd rather it stay up than disappear. So those are the two bugs. Um, your line today isn't very good. Hi. We will have nothing like that here. I know it's not the best. And it's, I'm not going to lie, I've spent all stream being messing with my cam <laughs> because my webcam reset of the Windows update, being very paranoid about it, but I don't need it confirmed, okay? <laughs> I want nice things said in this chat. Um, so market, marketing companies still sell followers for Twitch, Facebook, yeah? Well, they can sod off. 
<laughs> I have some new crisps made or corn. I think I would rather eat cardboard. Have you ever had cardboard before? If you ever have more than 10 chicken nuggets, that's what cardboard is like, in my opinion. Have you changed your stream now? As I normally always miss your stream. Uh, streaming hours got changed uh, last couple of weeks. Well, not the actual hours, but the days did. So, schedule. Well, it's just the bots just wrote the schedule, so. <laughs> just five minutes ago, I got bot AD VPN that offer 10k followers for one dollar. Yeah, mm, very dodgy indeed. <laughs> Time's the same, yeah. Time's the same, just days are different now. You are the light woman, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say the lighting's worse today, it's just different. <laughs> That's all. It's not like it's diabolical. I mean, the camera's not perfect. I need to mess about with it, but just don't have to add time. I didn't want it to become a webcam stream of me fixing my webcam. We've got stuff to get on with. Um, if you ever have more than 10 chicken nuggets, <laughs> yeah. I was rambling on about chicken nuggets for ages a few streams ago because I, I had a chicken nugget eating competition once and oh gosh, <laughs> don't do it guys. Rose is trying out a <laughs> filter today, yeah, it's a bit off but that's what Windows updates are like, you know. That's what they do. They reset your webcam. <laughs> Did you win? Well, I tried to to make it better, but nope. Not according to you, Serial. <laughs> Hasn't worked. Looks fine to me. Thank you, Shelter. <laughs> like I said, it's different. I wouldn't say worse, just different. I'm a little bit off. But, uh, you know. <laughs> The eating contest? Oh, um, no, I was bottom. I had 15 chicken nuggets and everybody else had like 30, 40. So, yeah. <laughs> I would never win something like that. I'm too small. Time to take time. Hope you have a lovely evening. We'll see you. I'll see you, Ezreal. Thanks for hanging out. And take care. Stream for myself will be ending shortly as well. Um, but we're going to give this a test play before we go. Hope you have an awesome evening. Right, so I'm going to just get through this dialogue so we can get to the cabin. Because that's the bit I want to test. Okay, so it hasn't worked for some reason. I did put it on parallel process, I think. Oh gosh, we ended up back in like fall then as well because we still got the old, the transfer thing. I haven't changed it. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Gonna be starting play test soon. Yay! Good luck, Elite. Is this the same game you were making with water as currency? Yeah, same game. I am not gonna be making more than one game at once. It'll be too much. Too much. This is a long, ongoing project. One big, one big RPG. Our RMMV became so much easier. An older engine, this kind of feature will need scripting instead of just installing a plugin. Yeah, it's. I'm still getting my head around RPG Maker MV a bit because uh, um, I'm. It's. It's. I did. I haven't used this one for long. I'm more used to some of the older ones. Rose, it's been forever. Oh my goodness, Anna Berry, how are you doing? I hope you're good. Oh my god, you've come in when I look terrible. And that's, I, I'm paranoid now because Pete, because <laughs> say my web, my line's really bad. How mean some people. But it's good to see you, Anna Berry. How have you been? It's lovely to see you. How, how is things? Update me with your life. You're fine. Oh my god, please. I'm okay. I think I look okay. But you know, when, when people say things, like, it makes you paranoid. Thank you, Dover. I appreciate you. But yeah, I know my webcam's not perfect today, but um, what can you do? <laughs> um, right, how is life? Oh, I'd love to hear all about it. 
what a pleasure it is to have you walk in the stream. Um, okay, so did I set this as a parallel process? I did, so I wonder why it hasn't worked. I'll have to have a mess about with that off stream because it's something that's probably really silly and easy to solve. Um, and we are sadly coming towards the end of the stream now. No! <laughs> Love and mouse, so I've got a job, new job in May. I got a new position and a raise looking into buying a house. That's amazing. That's so good to hear. I'm so proud of you, Anna. How have you been? I've been okay. Not doing too bad. This week's been a bit of a, um, you know, a, a challenging one for me. But uh, I'm, I'm having a blast streaming and hanging out with my community. So it all makes, it makes life so much better. <laughs> Yay, ooh, good luck. Oh no, the kid's made a mess in his pants, oh goodness. Good luck, Kong. I wouldn't like doing that job, I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, thank, thank you so much, guys. Who wants to come and give a friend a raid? And thank you for that follow user, by the way. I appreciate you. Exclamation mark raid. Right, so. Let's see who's online today. So, yeah, all you need to do, raspberry blood and an emote of your choice. That would be amazing if you if you came by and said hello so this time i'm going to always make sure i check the stream first and see that they haven't gone offline because was it last week or the week before um we raided somebody and they went offline um sometimes that happens so Oh, oh my goodness me, Willow Scout. You're never going to guess what. I was just going to raid you. <laughs> I was just looking for somebody to raid. And I saw you were online and I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna raid Willow Scout, but I hope she doesn't go offline. Um, because last time I raided you, you went offline. And I was like, no. And I was going to, and then you come in. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. But thank you so much for, for the host. I appreciate it. We are about to go. We are about to find someone. It was going to be you. It was going to be you that I was going to give it to. But now we'll go and say hi to someone else instead then. But how are you? How was your stream? Terrible <laughs> time. I appreciate the thought, honestly. It means a lot. And it made me giggle as well because I was literally <laughs> about to to go over to your channel um because you're always so nice to me you, you usually come by with your community and appreciate and i want to give it back to you sometimes but you always finish your streams before i do but it, if you're ever like on and i'm still like i've just finished stream i i want to i want to raid you <laughs> at some point for sure but what i'm gonna do um i'm actually I'm act we're actually going to raid Elite again today and there's a lot of us in the stream now at the moment with Willow Scales raid and uh, I think he'd really appreciate uh, a raid and I'm giving this to Elite because he's been an amazing community member and he's new to streaming um, he's like just started streaming this week basically and he's, he does RPG maker content and um, so I did raid him yesterday, but we'll give him a bit more love today, I think. Um, so let's get ready for that raid. It'll be awesome if you start by, say hello. And uh, if you've got your own thing to do, that's fine as well. I'm good, thanks. Hope the stream was good too. You don't need to. I know my stream ends before yours. I'm just happy to share my commute. That's so sweet. But you're a lovely human and you like Jamie Lannister, so that obviously makes you awesome. And I hope that I will be able to at least raid you at some point. Maybe when you have a long stream one day. <laughs> Thank you for the fun stream. Thank you, Juice. Have a great evening, Maz. Thank you, you too, Eli. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. And hi, program. Welcome. We are just about to go, but it's lovely to meet you. What game making is this? I've just got into making games in 3D. Well, if you want to look before we raid, I'll leave you with a link, program. It's actually a program command as well. Um, it's RPG Maker MV. It is a 2D software. It's not a 3D one. But if you're curious, you can read all about it there. It's really user-friendly for 
beginners and it's perfect for making rpgs so feel free to have a look at that thank you dava and thank you battle sandwich have a nice day bye guys so let's go say hi to elite and i'll see you all tomorrow take care